what's happening guys <clears throat> so it's now evening here in the Philippines it's Sunday evening not exactly sure how this is gonna look I'm actually up on the rooftop um, just got back from an all-day adventure um, basically today we uh, went we visited uh, the kids juveniles at uh, juvenile prison and it was a very uh, very touching uh, experience you know not only do I deal with juvenile detention uh, juveniles but here things are so so different than what it is back in the States um, you know if anything I feel my heart goes out to them. Um, I talked to three juveniles today that each one of them got a life sentence um, in prison for drugs. Now here in the Philippines, as most of you know, they don't tolerate drugs, okay? The president is, has come down extremely hard on drug trafficking and uh, the one uh, juvenile was telling me he had just three kilos, but he was a seller, okay? Because he sold the drugs, they gave him a life sentence. And, uh, man, I got to tell you, as a, as a juvenile, as a young kid, to have to spend the rest of your life in prison because you chose to sell some drugs, and not a whole lot of drugs, but... That's how serious things are here in the Philippines. They don't tolerate it. Um, you know, every time I come into this country, I'm learning something more and more each time I'm here. And it's just, you know, the people here are just so warm. It's just so loving. Um, it's really hard to put into words. If any of you have traveled to the Philippines, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, I wasn't permitted to have any cameras, uh, so therefore I had no footage whatsoever on this experience. Um, in fact, you couldn't walk in there with anything, really. Um, you know, basically, a um, pair of blue jeans, and you could not wear blue tops, so... Uh, for what reason, I don't know, because all the inmates were wearing orange uh, tops. But uh, anybody coming into the prison was not allowed to wear anything blue, but you could wear blue jeans. As you can tell, guys, I am literally sweating like a pig right now. We have been getting rain every single day, and it is the remnants of that typhoon that went through. It didn't actually hit here, but we're still getting the effects from that typhoon and it's just been raining all day today it's had a great effect on me getting out there and getting footage when it's raining it's kind of hard to get out there and, and do what you want to do so uh, that's pretty much what I did today it, it was uh, it's really different. Of course, they all wanted to know what it was like back in the States, how it was for the juveniles and the detention centers. And I explained to them, compared to how you have it here, they are living a nice life, even though it's a detention center. Um, detention centers, guys, aren't really any different than a prison. They're pretty much the same. They're, they're run the same way. You're treated the same way. Everybody's there for a reason, um, but all three of these individuals was uh, given a life sentence for uh, drugs. So young, you know, so young. And I, I questioned that. Why are they given a life sentence when, you know, they're just so young? You know, give them the opportunity to learn from that and, and to be able to move on with their life. Uh, but they don't see it like that here. It's you want to You want to sell drugs you want to deal with drugs. You're gonna pay dearly for that for the rest of your life So it was quite an experience um, You know the the traffic here <laughs> Tomorrow is New Year's Eve and uh, the traffic has just been crazy here. It's 
there's so much traffic it's hard to get from A to B within a couple of minutes it's just backed up no matter where you go um, but as you can see I'm, I'm standing here uh, on the rooftop I'm actually under a roof I can't do anything out here because it's raining and uh, I wish I had a better view for you but I got to do what I got to do now I was gonna do this in the apartment or in the condo but you know what I want to be outside I want to be enjoying the the outdoors here uh, I'm tired of always having to be stuck inside because it's raining so hopefully tomorrow I'm hoping tomorrow will bring better uh, weather for for New Year's Eve and uh, we're gonna be spending that with her mom and dad uh, tomorrow I'm, I want to try to get out I'm hoping if it's not raining to bring some footage because I'd like to speak to some people uh, while I'm there I'd like to talk to them about uh, you know just different things so that's pretty much it guys that's a little update on what's going on um, because of the weather I just can't get out there and get a lot of the footage that I want uh, but I do know that um, let me see after New Year's uh, I believe it's Tuesday this coming Tuesday is when we're going to be going to 100 islands we're going to be doing some island hopping there another thing I wanted to mention was I I had a problem with my drone I was really bummed out uh, the blade as you're putting the blade on the one end broke off and it ended up down in the motor and I tried to get it out I couldn't get it out and yesterday we were in Makati and uh, we had a nice day there with some friends and we looked it up and we found a DGI store a uh, repair store and we took the drone there yesterday and they actually fixed the drone at no charge um, which I thought was really nice of them uh, so I'm gonna be able to use my drone for the island hopping thank goodness I was really bummed out about that but anyhow guys that's pretty much it that's all I got for now until uh, I can bring better footage to you guys I'll talk to you guys in the next video till then peace out bye bye